Well, cheers, hey, do buckaroos, and how the heck are you? I am Tom the Beer and Whiskey Whisperer. This one comes un under the files of, hell, you never know, man. <laughs> anyway, you don't know. Anyways, uh, so my wife and I went out of town for the weekend. Uh, and we always, we had a few stops planned, but we always stop at a local store to pick up some stuff to take back to the room. And, uh, and uh, it seems like we always find stuff by accident. Uh, they had this, uh, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, man. Let me show you the bottle. So you see the bottle, it has that uh, Four Hands Madagascar on it, and it has the Copper and Kings craft work, finished in Four Hands Brewing Company Madagascar Imperial Milk Stout Barrels. Uh, this is at 52% alcohol, 104 proof. It's a brandy finished in craft beer barrels. That's what it is, right? Yeah, it's, you know, nothing necessarily new under the sun about that, but it, it is something that a craft beer guy like me wants to pick up. But here's the big however. You're not going to believe what I paid for this bottle of, of uh, 104 proof brandy finished in four hands. Four hands. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the bottle, see, here's what's going to throw a lot of you off. The bottle of four hands Madagascar vanilla is going to cost you more than I paid for this. $10.99, I shit you not. It was on sale for $10.99 or clearance out, I should say. $10.99. <laughs> I mean, I, I think the bottle of Madagascar itself was like fourteen ninety nine. But anyway, anyway, I digress. Uh, I didn't have didn't have a brandy snifter handy because you know, like I said, we're out of town, so I'm using my St. James wine glass. Oh my God, that nose is insane. I'm not familiar with these products, all honesty. So I don't know. I, I don't know the quality of the brandy. I really can't speak to that. What I can speak to is the fact that. Four Hands Madagascar is one of the best Imperial Stouts that you'll ever find. And you can uh, really feel that on the nose in a great big way. I feel a lot of vanilla. I also feel some chocolate notes, right? So I'm going to take that back. Not chocolate, almost fudge-like notes. Because I feel like I get I get some a little bit of a uh, little bit of English walnut in there as well. Okay, we're gonna take a drink now because you know why not? <laughs> it's, it's been a day, man. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. So typically when, I, when you hear me come on a video and say it's been a day, it's been a rough day, it's been a long work day. And, and now I'm ready for a drink. When, when I say it's been a day today, it's been a day. I mean, it's been a great day. My wife and I, uh, it, this weekend will be our 28th anniversary. Uh, so I had the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. And it's Friday as I do this video. And we just, I mean, the, the, there was no hurry. I, I, I sort of had an itinerary, right? But it wasn't etched in stone. <laughs> there was no time restraints. We kind of got to things when we got to them. Some things were, didn't take as long as I thought they might. Some things took longer. And we, we got to the end just the same. The, there were some extra things we got to today. And there were some things we didn't get to today. So everything we can get to tomorrow. It was just one of those days. Everything just seemed to work out like it was supposed to. Ugh. We went to one winery called Peaceful Bend, and I gotta tell you, man, I, I, they only had at the time, and he, he was kind of apologetic about it, but at the time they only had two wines that they make themselves, and he did say that they've kind of had a hard time catching back up after you know 2020. But he says that they're getting there. But they had some guest wines and they had other stuff. And he's also been making some beer. So although they only had two wines that they made themselves, they also had two beers. So I checked those out. And I got to tell you, um, everything there we had was just nice. Uh, uh, the people were incredible. The service was impeccable. Everything about that experience was amazing. Ah, really? I got a little gnat flying around here driving me crazy. And then I wanted to go to a place called The Singing Butcher. Now, they weren't singing in there at the time, although I've, I've been told that they do from time to time. Uh, but w when we go out of town, my wife and I, we tend to like to, to buy some things from a local place. 
you know, some local meats and cheeses, uh, or some deli meats and cheeses, maybe not always local, and then, you know, just kind of snack back the room later. But they had a lot of things there, so I ended up spending a little bit more than planned, but the products there were just so amazing. And then because my wife went somewhere else, I didn't, I knew, I, I knew where she went, but she was, um, so I, 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 damn man, it's driving me crazy. Anyway, I, I, so I was looking for a place called the main deck, which was a, a little outside bar. And it was like about three doors down from where I was. The only thing that concerned me though, is I had the car key and she didn't. So. Uh, I went over there, and I was trying to text her, tell her where I was, but there was no service there in that area. But it was just this beautiful, this beautiful outdoor bar like you'd find at a beach, right? But it wasn't. It was in St. James, Missouri. Uh, it was amazing. It was just, it wasn't St. James? Oh, was that, oh, was that Steelville? I thought that was still St. James here. Yeah, oh, Steelville. Steelville. Okay, never mind. It was in Steelville. My bad. My bad. That one's on me. <laughs> I saw Steel, Steelville. But it was just a beautiful little 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 bar I paid two dollars and fifty cents man that man is driving me nuts I, I paid two dollars and fifty cents for a Schlafly pumpkin you know yeah I shit you not uh, I shit you not man okay this I take a pause for the cause because that gnat was making me crazy anyways my bad so anyway you know that was still good my wife was right oh but yeah uh it was just it was, I just had one beer just relaxed it was just a beautiful little deal and then we found a place. Okay, that was nice. A uh, Belmont. So, um, unfortunately, so uh, the uh, the website had them listed open at three, but I didn't realize that they didn't actually serve food till five. So we had planned on eating there, but we got there right at three, and they were a little late getting open. And he was very apologetic about it, but the the big, however, is again, once again, incredible, impeccable customer service. He was just so amazing. He gave us a discount on everything we bought. We, we bought a lot of stuff, but he gave us a discount on everything. He was just so friendly, so full of information. And not only that, is he talked about the other places in the area too. You know, he didn't just say, "Hey, I'm great. Just come see me." He talked about the other places, and it was it was just a nice experience. Every place we went to today did that same thing they talked everybody else up and, and I really love that about this particular area so we finished off the day uh, having dinner at uh, because we couldn't eat at the one place that, I, that we were going to eat we had dinner over at the Merrimack winery we started with the coconut shrimp and we we're going to end there but then my wife decided we would have the uh, uh, street they had the street tacos they had this carnita street tacos that were just amazing so but because we got those, we, we got like a this app where we got two free glasses, right? So, so uh, <laughs> the street tacos kind of paid for themselves because we got a couple glasses, man. So anyway, we came back to the room, uh, uh, going back to the singing butcher. So I bought some some ham and some turkey, some deli ham and turkey uh, that I didn't cut up yet. But they had some two locally made or products that they make themselves. Uh, uh, summer sausage. One was a pepper jack. One was a jalapeno cheddar. Uh, I bought those and I cut those up, and those are just incredible. And I also picked up some uh, some smoked gouda and some some sharp white cheddar. So we you know make our own little you know kind of charcuterie trip plate. Uh, when we're at the store, my wife picked up some grapes. We brought some nuts from home. Uh, not not just mine, but <laughs> we had some, we had some actual nuts anyway. My bad. Tom, you went too far there. Uh, Tom, you just went too far. Uh, we, we, had some, we, got, we, got, we got we got some grapes. We got some nuts. We got crackers. We got meat. We got cheese. Hey, we got it covered. Anyways, uh, but uh, I wanted to try this brandy. It was driving me crazy. That it, this was only ten ninety nine. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, even if this is like a mid quality brandy, aged in that, you know, again. Four Hands Madagascar is one of my favorite beers in, in, in the winter uh, when I'm able to get it. And it runs about 15 bucks a bottle, typically. So, so, so by the brandy, 104 proof brandy aged in the Madagascar. Oh, shit. Biscuits, man. I'm all in. <laughs> 10.99. I shit you not. I can't lie about that. <laughs> Anyways.
Yeah, this is, I mean, this is 104 proof, and if you look, watch my face here, I'm going to take another drink, watch my face. Just watch it. <laughs> just watch it. Just, okay, just trust me here for a second. Tom, you're not easy to look at. I know, uh, I know, I know. What are you gonna do? But uh, it's what I've got to work with. Uh, but no, what, what I was trying to show you is that how approachable this brandy is. Uh, it is very, very drinkable. Is it as nuanced as others? I really can't speak to that. I'm not a brandy expert by any means. But what I tell you, I really feel a lot of those Madagascar barrel notes, right? You do feel a lot of extra vanilla. I do feel notes that I don't typically find in a brandy, right? Like those fudge notes I alluded to earlier. The English walnut notes that I alluded to earlier are, are notes that you don't typically find in a brandy. This stuff is gorgeous. I did not have, I didn't have, I didn't have a shot glass handy, so I kind of guessed. I was trying to pour about two ounces. Uh, I think I probably poured three. <laughs> I might have poured it a little heavy. I'm not going to lie. I didn't try to, though. <laughs> it just kind of worked out that way. Oh, my God. This stuff is gorgeous, though. I got to tell you. I did buy two bottles, uh, and it was a guess. Typically, when I buy something new like this that I've never had and know nothing about, I would just buy one bottle. But the truth is, at ten ninety nine, I felt like I had to take a chance. You know what I mean? Because I got both bottles for twenty two bucks, right? I mean, you know, <laughs> even if it's if, if 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 it turned out to be total rot good, I could mix it in soda pop and still be worth the money. <laughs> But the truth is, this stuff really is good. I mean, it, it is it is seriously good. Yet yeah, to be able to drink any any liquor at this proof, uh, neat, and be this approachable is, is rather amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, there there is nothing. There is no face. There is nothing. It is that easy to drink. Stuff is gorgeous. The only, the only thing, if you're a brandy drinker, the, the thing I might point out is is that I'm getting all of these extra notes that may be hiding or muting some of those fruit notes that you're used to in a brandy. And that might be the only slight negative. Other than that, the stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, anyways, I digress. Uh, I'm just wrapping it up, man. Uh, I'm old. I'm tired. I had a long work week, but I did have a very nice day today with my lovely wife of oh, damn near 28 years. <laughs> we're, we're right there at it, aren't we? Oh, uh, man. Uh, no, nobody I know can believe she's put up with me for that long anyways. I like to think I bring something to the table, but other than that. <laughs> anyways, uh, I am Tom. Uh, the whatever you want to call me at this point it just doesn't matter. I'm just going to skip to the end and say all around good guy because, you know, I am. <laughs> and I'm rather modest about it as well.